Now, this is the water pump system that I made around a year back. So link to make the 3D print design has been provided in the description. You can download it and make your own 3D printed water pump. Now guys, you have seen me use my old soldering iron for so many months, but uh, the day since I bought this new soldering iron, it is just amazing. We can control the temperature plus it rises uh, to the set temperature really fast. The maximum temperature that we can reach with this is 410 degrees. And right now I have set it to only 260 degrees. If you like this soldering iron, make sure to check out the link provided in the description. So this is my temperature meter and uh, here I'm going to plug in the battery and then you can see the temperature of the room. Here you can see the temperature is around 32.5 degrees Celsius. Now, this is a great device that can provide excellent room cooling and you just have to keep on adding ice. The best feature of this method is it provides 0% humidity. If you keep the water pot outside the room that you want to cool because the water that is inside the pot is going to evaporate and it is going to cause humidity. So if you increase the length of the pipes and uh, keep the pot outside while the blower system inside the room, then in that way you can uh, reduce room humidity like adding negligible humidity to the room and still cooling it up just like an air conditioner. Also this setup uses only 
a 30 watts of power which is like very low considering a small air conditioner and this entire setup runs on 12 volts so this can also run on your solar panels or a battery or any 12 volts power supply that you have now despite of all these excellent features i would still like to hear from you people the drawbacks that this setup faces because there are some drawbacks so let me know them in the comment section so guys that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and see you on the next one bye bye